Greetings fellow Earthlings, welcome back to another unboxing video. This one I have from Grindhouse. Uh, they put out some exceptional stuff and we're going to take a look at that today. I know I just put out a video recently, this is kind of a surprise to do one. Uh, actually yesterday it came out, so back to back days I've never done before. This one uh, had a few technical issues from yesterday that I wanted to work on immediately. So hopefully those have uh, been improved throughout this video. And again, this is from Grindhouse. We're gonna take a look at that. So here is the video. Here is the box. Safety first, right guys? And we have that. Not easy it looks, guys. You know, handling a knife on camera like this is a lot of pressure. So again, this is just a small uh, order from Grindhouse. I will link them in the details below so you can check them out. Uh, they do a lot of uh, great movies, as you'll see. And the first one, which kind of uh, catches up with our thumbnail here, manual on the last cannibals from yesterday's video from Blue, our friends at Blue Underground. They make some fantastic uh, films. Again, this is Grindhouse. They are uh, kind of the middleman between the other companies. They don't actually make their own films. And uh, this is Mountain of a Cannibal God. Ursula Andres, of course, is known for her role in James Bond. Stacy Keach also available here. And if we take a look at the back, Mountain of a Cannibal God, uncut. And uncensored like you've never seen it before. Uh, when her anthropologist husband disappears in New Guinea. Stephen, Susan Stevenson, excuse me, Ursula Andress of Dr. No convinces her colleague Dr. Edward Foster, Stacy Keach of Prison Break, to lead her into the dark heart of a deadly jungle. Now one thing that's special about this film in particular... I'm going to go into story time for just a second. When I was very young, 13, 14 years old, uh, I went on a trip with some other kids my age, and we were in a hotel, and a uh, late night cable came on, and there was this terrifying cannibal movie. And, it, you know, at that impressionable age, it kind of stuck with my brain, one particular scene. And I've been in search of this movie ever since to kind of satisfy that urge of seeing something that terrified me as a kid. I believe this movie is it. I really truly believe that. Stay tuned and I will uh, make sure that you guys know if this is the right one. I'm almost positive of that. Again, Mountain of the Cannibal God from Blue Underground. It is a DVD. The Blu-ray is long out of print. Uh, if there ever was one. Uh, we're going to enjoy that. Alright, next in the collection, another Blue Underground. David Carradine in Circle of Iron from a story by Bruce Lee. Uh, I've uh, never followed Bruce Lee very closely growing up throughout action movies. Uh, in the recent years, I have seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which features a segment on Bruce Lee that is amazing. And uh, that kind of spun the wheels for me a little bit. So this will be my introduction to Bruce Lee. Also, David Carradine. Ooh, had some uh, paranormal activity at play there. Okay, so this is, uh, again, Circle of Iron. A pretty damn cool film, says Harry Knowles of Ain't It Cool News. I mean, if anything would know, if anybody would know something was cool, it would be him. Uh, the adventure epic written by Bruce Lee, his dream project he never lived to see. And uh, 1978, color 97 minutes. We have an audio commentary with director Richard Moore. That's always uh, the gold star for me. And a few other notes here. Audio interview with a few people, some TV spots. Looks great. Circle of Iron. Check it out, guys. And now here we are, the star of the show, Miami Connection. Bonus soundtrack CD inside. A little bit more story time. A few years ago when I first started getting into Trashy B movies, one of the first ones that ever intrigued me was Miami Connection. I've been hunting this down on Blu-ray forever. Finally, from a new company, to me anyway, Umbrella. Uh, I don't know that much about them. 
Uh, this is my first step into Umbrella. They have a lot of uh, followers on the internet and some really good movies, including The Mask, uh, Eric Stoltz classic coming out from them. I'm looking forward to seeing that. This is age restricted. The contact is high in impact, so you know we're in for something good here. Uh, limited slip cover is always beautiful. Lots of special features here. If you know this movie, you know it. If you don't know it, I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, the way that I've always watched it is on YouTube uh, through a channel called Rift Tracks. That's the old... Jeez, uh, I stumbled on that one. The Mystery Science Theater 3000 guys, they, they recycled into Rift Tracks. And they released Miami Connection, which I believe is still available. I'm not going to link that here because I want you to buy this with me and enjoy it as much as I do. And hopefully get sponsorship one day. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Uh, but yeah, Miami Connection. This comes with an audio commentary from producer YK Kim. Should be amazing. The Rift Tracks commentary track that I spoke of a moment ago is also included on here. And there's some other uh, documentary uh, situations there about YK Kim in this movie. It was released by Draft House. And again, it comes with the Dragon Sound CD. Really looking forward to jumping into this, guys. But again, hopefully those technical issues were fixed a little bit. I'm still trying very hard to make good quality content. I have a lot of fun opening these boxes and looking at these movies, watching these movies. I included uh, Raiders of Atlantis because I opened that yesterday with my Severn package. I watched that this morning, and it's really good. I, I would recommend it. It's not one of the better... Uh, films that I've seen, especially from Severin, but if you're looking for, uh, you know, Warriors, Mad Max in that uh, area, cheaply made, great costumes, great action, terrible script, but I, uh, I would recommend it for sure. And then, of course, we have the two films that we got today and Miami Connection. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you taking your time and uh, viewing this. Hopefully, I've shown you some uh, pretty good movies and uh, made a good video for you. Thanks again for watching. Please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you feel like it. And uh, share this on your Facebook. Some of your friends might like this too. And uh, hopefully the next one's coming out soon. Thanks, guys.